If you are looking for a GPS bike computer at a very reasonable price, then this video is for you. So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Vishu. So this is XOSS G Plus GPS bike computer, which is probably one of the smallest yet powerful GPS bike computers available in the market currently that you can use to record your ride as well as upload directly to Strava. As well as this small thing can easily support a heart rate monitor, speed sensor as well as cadence sensor. So let's see what all we have inside this. So as you can see the product comes in a plastic packaging like this. So let's open this up and we'll see what all we have inside. Okay, so the first thing that we get inside is our main GPS unit. At the top you can see all these digits and all. This is basically a transparent film added to this GPS by computer. We'll remove it later on. Along with that we get this small user manual and we'll definitely be needing that to set up the device and see how well we can connect all the. We also get all of these in the packaging. This is basically the mounting bracket so that you can easily mount. Here is the base and we have two rubber straps to mount the bracket and here is the charging cable which is available. So overall this is pretty much all the accessories that you get inside the packaging. So now let's remove this transparent film. It looks really nice and as I can see we have two buttons here. This looks like play and pause and this is the reload and probably this switch on and off. So let's switch it on. Okay, Okay. so now the device is completely on and uh, we can see the default setting that we have in this is speed, mid limit time, distance, then here we have the cadence and the HR and if you press again this we can see the average altitude, gradient, average ride and average speed and all. Last we have is the max speed. So I have been using this device for over a month now and so far I have covered like 185 kilometers. So pretty much you have three different menus inside this small GPS bike computer. If you see here I have my Brighton Rider 750 and here is the XOSS G Plus. So overall size comparison you can see how small this XOSS G Plus is and thickness wise we it is quite smaller. But let me tell you, ये जो Brighton का GPS bike computer है, इसका जो pricing है, इसके pricing में इसके जैसे 10 devices बहुत आराम से आ जाएंगे. Not only this, we also have this XOSS speed and cadence sensor, as well as the XOSS heart rate sensor. So we will be connecting these two with our device and see how well they connect. Now, so using this device is pretty simple. We just need to press this record button and it will start searching for the GPS signal as you can see at the top. Now XOSS recommend that when you record your ride for the first time or when you are searching for the GPS signal you must always be outside. Aisa na ho ki ghar ke andar hi aap GPS signal ko dhoonna shuru kar do because wo kai baar nahi milta hai. And here you can see ki upar hamko nazar a jata hai ki usko GPS signal mil chuka hai. It will start capturing your data and jab aap isko pause karoge you just need to press once and upar aapko dik jayega ki ye pause mode mein chala gaya hai. Now so connecting the device with your smartphone is pretty simple. You need to download this application called XOSS which you will get in Play Store. Pe At the very top here you can see we have all the devices which are available with XOSS. Currently we have G Plus hai, so we will be selecting the G Plus. And then you need to press this connect button. It will start looking for your GPS bike computer. And here you can see it has found the GPS bike computer. We just need to press it and it will show you that it is connecting with the computer. Here you go, it is connected. At the bottom, it will show you all the rides that you have done so far. For an example, if I show you the workout tab, you can see all the rides which I have captured with this GPS by computer. It shows you everything. And at the profile button, you can connect your Strava, like I connect kar rakha hai. training peaks, so you can do it from that. Apni information puri aap iske andar dal sakte ho. So now I'm gonna connect this heart rate sensor and this cadence sensor with this GPS bike computer. So in order to connect your heart rate monitor and cadence sensor, we need to press these two buttons together. Is tarike se press karke rakhna hai. And here you can see it is trying to find out the heart rate monitor and cadence sensor. Niche aapko jo cadence sensor hai, wo dikhega ki wo connect ho chuka hai. Let me rotate so that it captures the data and we'll see. Okay, as you can see there, it is capturing the data. I'm rotating it pretty fast. 
एंड ओके सो हमारा हार्ट रेट मॉनिटर भी इसके साथ कनेक्ट हो चुका है केडेंस इज कनेक्टेड एच आर इज ऑल्सो कनेक्ट एज यू कैन सी देर हार्ट रेट का हमारा देखो वहाँ पे लाइव डेटा हमको शो कर रहा है एंड हियर वी हैव दी केडेंस डेटा अवेलेबल एज वेल सो आई एम बैक टू दी मेन मेन्यू एंड वी कैन सी दी हार्ट रेट मॉनिटर इज कनेक्टेड एज वेल एज दी केडेंस सेंसर सो नाउ वेन यू स्टार्ट राइडिंग इट विल कीप कैप्चरिंग ऑल दी डेटा Now, so in terms of ease of use, I found out the device is pretty easy to use. Setting up this device to your bike is pretty simple. आपको बहुत ही simply बस इसको अपने bike के साथ mount कर देना है, be it on the handlebar or on the stem. And starting the GPS bike computer is pretty simple. Just switch it on. And जैसे ही आप इसके play का button या record button को on करते हो, it start capturing the GPS signal. And जैसे ही इसको GPS signal मिल जाता है, your ride is started. And once you go for a ride, it will keep on tracking all the data. आपका overall कितना speed है, उसको ये पूरी तरीके से found out कर लेता है. And if you have connected the heart rate monitor, speed sensor, cadence sensor, तो उसके data को भी ये बहुत easily आपको showcase कर देता है. Like currently you can see in the video that it is showing me my heart rate as well as the cadence sensor कि overall जो उसका speed है वो कैसा है. And since I have been using this device for over a month now, so what I found out. That in terms of recording the data, this records pretty easily. But something which you need to take care कि जैसे ही आप किसी underground में जाते हो, like कहीं पे subways होते हैं या कुछ भी होते हैं, where you go there, तो वहाँ पे इसका GPS signal कई बार lost हो जाता है. And in order to find that GPS data, you need to be back again to an open place. Open place में जाने के बाद ही this can find out the GPS signal and it will start working again. But I believe that is similar with all the GPS devices because अगर GPS का सिग्नल ही नहीं रहेगा तो फिर ये आपको ओवरऑल जो डेटा है स्पीड का वो कैसे शो करेगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द डेटा आई फाउंड आउट दैट इट इज ऑलमोस्ट क्लोज टू द एक्यूरेट मतलब ये काफी क्लोज ऑफ डेटा आपको पूरा प्रोवाइड कर देता है सो इन दैट केस एक्सो एस एस हैज डन अ वेरी गुड जॉब ऑन दिस डिवाइसेज आई हैव यूज दिस एक्सो एस एस जी प्लस इन द पास्ट एंड उस टाइम पे भी जो डिवाइस था उसमें भी काफी सिंपल यूसेज था एंड आई कैन सी जो लेटेस्ट वाला डिवाइसेस है दिस इज अ लिटिल स्मॉलर देन द प्रीवियस वन हाउ एवर द केपेबिलिटीज एंड ऑल द फंक्शन आर स्टिल द सेम विच इज अ वेरी गुड थिंग एंड थोड़ा सा टाइम ये लेता है डेटा को सिंक करने में विच आई फाउंड आउट हाउ एक बार डेटा सिंक हो जाने के बाद आपका डेटा बहुत इजिली आपके स्ट्रावा पे अपलोड हो जाता है सो यू डोंट हैव टू वरी अबाउट एनी थिंग एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ बैटरी बैकअप आई फाउंड आउट दैट इन वन फुल चार्ज इट कैन कैप्चर सेवन राइड्स इन अ वीक फॉर एन एग्जाम्पल अगर आप रेगुलर राइडिंग पे जाते हो फॉर अ रेगुलर राइडिंग ऑफ वन आवर टू टू आवर एंड उसको आप सेवन डेज में कंटिन्यूस करते हो सो दिस कैन लास्ट अप टू वन वीक एज पर माई टेस्टिंग विच आई हैव डन अकॉर्डिंग टू यू सेज द बैटरी बैकअप कैन बी लेस और कैन बी मोर Now you must be wondering what is the price of this XOSS G Plus. So on XOSS website, this device is listed at the price of thirty-five dollars, which is roughly about twenty-seven hundred rupees without the shipping cost. Because your shipping cost है वो extra लगता है. And since considering this device is coming from out of India, so obviously जो shipping का charges होगा and there could be custom duties involved as well. In India, this device is easily available for somewhere around forty-five hundred rupees to five thousand rupees के बीच में ये available है. Their speed sensor is available for the price of twenty dollars, which is around fourteen hundred rupees for the speed and cadence sensor. And जो heart rate का monitor है इनका, that is costing somewhere around twenty-five dollars. So my overall review for this XOS G Plus is. This is a very capable device and probably a really good device for you to buy. जो Brighton मेरे पास है, उसका pricing around twenty seven thousand rupees का है. So what do you think about this device? Is it a value for money product? You can let me know in the comment section. All the website details of XOS G Plus is available in the description, so you can check out. So I'll see you with another video. Until then, bye bye.